Hello YouTube. Um This is my first time doing like one of these little vlog things that I don't do often enough because I'm not a big vlog person. So I'm just gonna get right down to it. Something has come across me in my life. Something that happens once in a lifetime. I've experienced pure joy. Joy that I don't think is measurable in any other universe except this one. Maybe in a distant land that I'll name later. But. Ponies! Yes, ponies. Ponies are awesome. They're probably the only cartoon in this entire world that is actually entertaining and you learn shit from it. Uh, every story happens to revolve around a certain group of characters, and that's the thing I like the most about this show. The characters. It's like, there's no point in watching a show if you can't identify yourself with one of the characters. If they have that kind of personality, then that's exactly what I'd, I'd stick around and watch for. And, um, during that season 2 finale, I made a video about, uh, uh Queen Chrysalis. And um, in a matter of two days, that video oh, that video has gotten over 3,000 views. Well, actually, 2,000. Now it's 3,000. Whatever. So, after doing this whole monetization thing and stuff like that, I figure I make more pony videos. That way, I can have money to keep living in this house, go to college. I'm looking at a lot of different uh, diversity in terms of music, like uh, this fan base has uh, art, music, and um, fan fiction. What I like the most uh, out of all three happens to be music. So I have started I first started listening to uh, an artist called Silverhound. Silverhound. And it was interesting because the first song I probably heard from him was um, his famous Spitfire. And I was like, that tune sounds familiar. Like, I've heard it before. And then just BOOM! He uh, remixed it really nicely. I could not stop listening to that song. So I started listening to more and more and more. I really like his work. He's awesome. He's an awesome person. You should go listen to him. And uh, I've seen a couple videos on YouTube about uh, uh, the Living Tombstone. Is probably more famous than Silverhelm, but uh, he's a really nice guy. I admire that uh, he gives his uh, songs away for free via download, and um, I respect that. I do the same with my music and my SoundCloud, because uh, right now. I think getting noticed right now is probably way more than better than getting paid. Because once you establish a name, you establish a theme, uh, you become famous. Just like that. So, I'm hoping one day to collaborate with one of these people. They will be awesome, because then I'd probably make some acoustic guitar stuff. But. Yeah, the whole basis of this video is that I'm a brony, but I'm a happy brony. I'm not the one that buys the toys or anything, I'm just, I really dig the show, I really dig the fans, the fans are really cool, they're all like in this, not what most people perceive as, a, but they're just like normal people, you know? You can like a comic book series and be a fan of that, or you can like cars and be a fan of that. But, it shouldn't really matter what a person likes. And the people who are always like, Oh, you lost your manhood, oh, ponies are for little girls and all that. Well, that just shows how closed-minded our society has turned these people into. 
it's really sad. It's a really sad comment on um, our society when we have to conform to these ideas of uh, archetypes and stereotypes of these sorts. So, just like what you like, do what you do, and love doing it. I've played music for about five years, and I'm still going to keep playing. No matter what happens, even if I have to uh, sell on my guitars to keep my um, the house, which I might, I might sell it on Craigslist. It's an electric blue Fender, but that's, you're probably not going to be living in my area, so... Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.